John Vandenbrand from Wild Wind Images. I've been involved in photography nearly all my life, but only in the last 10 or 15 years have I really found my true passion, wildlife photography. And some of my favorite shots have been captured just like this, using my kayak as a platform to shoot from. Approaching wildlife from the water is one of the least threatening ways to do that. Few predators approach from the water. Sometimes it can lead to great shots. When you're choosing a boat, probably the number one criteria for wildlife photography from a boat is stability. The boat just has to be rock solid to shoot with a big lens like this. I checked out all the boats on the market. In fact, it's how I kind of spent my whole winter um, about two years ago. And then I started paddling them in the spring and the native boat came out on top by a big margin. It's just a rock solid platform to shoot from. You also need to be able to have your gear accessible. So you can't have a tight cockpit area. You need to be able to um, move this around and it also scores high marks for that. You're going to need to often carry your boat farther than you end up paddling it on a given day. Sometimes I might carry the boat for a mile to get back into a really inaccessible area. So it's got to be nice and lightweight. And this Ultimate certainly fits that bill. I'm, I don't believe I've ever seen a lens quite that big. And so it means you really trust this boat if you're going to if you're going to care, I think you told me that's your, that's your, uh, your occupation right That's there. right. This is really the heart and soul of my business. And uh, if this went in the water, it would be about a $10,000 loss for me. So every time I go out on the water and the camera is just sitting here and not fastened onto the boat or anything, mm -hmm. um, I'm basically making a $10,000 bet that nothing's going to happen to it. And, <laughs> But it's one I'm comfortable making because the boat is so stable. I've right. just never had any problems. I've spent hundreds of hours on the water with the camera exposed. Right. But in a boat this stable, it's just not an issue. This is a Canon 500 millimeter f4 lens. It's considered probably the best wildlife lens in the world. It gives me a range of probably up to about 150 yards to capture wildlife. You know, I love the bird also, but the beauty of it is you know, I keep a life list and I write it down, but you're recording these beautiful photographs. Uh, that's history right there. You know, it's, it's art too, because you gotta set all that up. But, uh, you know, the fact that you are actually getting photographs of birds, there's no question about what bird you saw because you can look at it later on. And I guess with modern photography, you can zoom in on it and see any little eye lines, or anything that would distinguish one bird, you know, there's a lot of birds that resemble each other a lot. It's real hard to identify them, especially wobblers, smaller birds, but I guess with the camera, you, you take a photograph and zoom in, there's no question about what you photograph. You can see my work at wildwindimages.com.